All right, so the final cast that I'm going to teach you today is the cable cast on. Uh, so it's very similar to the knitted cast on. So we are going to start it exactly the same way. So we're going to uh, put uh, we're going to put a slip knot onto our needle, and then we are going to uh, switch hands, <laughs> uh, and we are going to insert our hook as if to knit, exactly like the knitted stitch. Okay, and we're going to knit, pull, pull it long, and attach it. All right, so that's where it's exactly the same. And now where it changes for the cable cast on is instead of knitting into this loop, we're actually going to put our needle through between this stitch, our slip knot, and our next stitch. So I've, you can see here, I've got both sides of that stitch there. I'm not knitting into the stitch, I'm knitting between the two stitches, okay? So I'm going to knit and pull up a loop like I would anyway, pull it long, just like the knitted one. You're going to put it on your needle. So just make sure that you're going through, there's your V, and you're knitting. Nope and so on and so forth. So you're going to go ahead and cast on. So this cast on is a little bit stretchier than the knitted cast on. I wouldn't say it's a stretchy cast on, but it is one of the stretchier ones. Um, I like this one as a cast on edge for a blanket or for a scarf, or if you need to pick up stitches and you don't want to do a um, provisional cast on and you're just doing like a stockinette edge, this is a great a great one to pick because the way that these stitches here, they kind of like curl around itself once it's been knitted on and those little curls are really easy to pick up. This, like the knitted cast on, doesn't add or remove much more twist from your yarn any more than knitting does. So if you are a, uh, a Western style knitter like me, um, when you knit with a S plied yarn, like what I'm showing here, uh, which is a commercially spun yarn, um, it will tighten up as you knit with it. Uh, when this one, when you are working this stitch and you drop a needle, if you're working your first row after casting on, when you drop the stitch, this one's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So if you dropped a stitch, <laughs> that's what happens. Um, so it's a pain in the butt to fix, truth be told, because um, you need to go back into here, draw up your loop, or not back in there, you need to go go into your stitch, wrap, pull up a loop, insert it. And there, it's fixed. Fixed. <laughs> you still have this huge long strand here. So unfortunately, this one is not as forgiving when it comes to your first row. If you drop a stitch like I just did there, which is, to give it credit, is really hard to do with this particular cast on. But if you do lose a stitch and you accidentally pull it tight like that, just rip it out and start over. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.